Hello YouTuber Reservoir Warrior here. Warrior. Jeez, I always say that weird. <laughs> anyway, um it's that time of the month again for a retro game treasure box opening. I actually got this in a couple days ago, haven't been able to open it till now. Um I will let you guys know I did take off the seal, but I do not know what's in here. Uh, what I do want to show first, though, is uh, my Prime Day pickups. So, first up we have, uh, I did get a Fire TV stick. I think it was only 15. I'm loving this thing a lot. And then I did buy a uh, case for it, too. So there we go. I have uh, one Echo Dot here. Now these were on sale for $22, and then, um, whatchamacallit, and then they also had a deal where you buy two for the price of one, so I took advantage of that. So that one right there is the uh, Sandstone, and wow, my camera makes these uh, boxes look a lot darker than they are. The boxes look more like a tealish slash aqua blue when you get them in the mail, but this is the uh, Sandstone one. And then I have the uh, Heather Gray in here. The reason why I got two, and then yeah, that's the uh, Heather Gray. The reason why I got two is to have a nice uh, stereo speaker set up. Eventually when I do get a laptop. Or I meant, yeah, eventually when I, I mean when I fix up my gaming PC. I am saving up now to get a gaming laptop though. That way all the video ideas I've had over the past few months I can finally do. I did get the uh, Satisfy uh, Pro Gaming Grip, which I wanted to do an unboxing video of, but didn't. But oh well, I'm loving this thing. And then also, my cousin Jonathan's book finally released. So I actually got that... Well, it, it's... The Amazon link has been live for... About a week now, but he officially uh, announced it uh, today. Uh, so definitely check it out. It's called 100 Days on Earth. It's less than $9, and it is eligible for uh, Prime Shipping. So there you guys go. If you like poetry, you will love this book. So feel f I'll leave a link to that in the description. Feel free to check it out. Very easy read as well. And without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Oh, wait, no. Uh, so Fire Emblem Three Houses is finally releasing tomorrow. I will not be getting my uh, my copy of the game tomorrow because I pre-ordered pre -ordered the, uh, was it Seasons of Warfare, I believe it's called? Yeah, I got that one. It went live again. Uh, this was uh, mid-March, and I uh, ordered it on my other Amazon account where I don't have Prime. Whoops. So I'm probably not getting the game until around the uh, same time as next week, but when I do get it in the mail, you bet I'm going to do an unboxing. And then I'm probably just going to be playing the living crap out of that game for weeks upon weeks. Um, I will be doing a manga haul this month. Yay. It's going to be a nice one. Uh, I would have actually uh, uploaded and recorded that this week. But there's a few more volumes I want to get. Um, and then I got a, I bought a couple of Vanguard decks from a, from a friend. So I'm going to, do, I'm going to show those. I meant to show everything I got from the uh, Rising Rampage sneak peek, but um, forgot to do that. And then I'm going to be uh, part of two Vanguard case breaks, one for My Glorious Justice and then one for uh, the set with uh, Tsukiyomi and all the new uh, Royal Paladins. Um, I purchased some Final Fantasy boxes, so uh, once I get those, I'll do an unboxing on those, because I... Um, Toy Wiz now is doing Final Fantasy events, which is awesome. So, look forward to that. Oh, and the Satisfy gro uh, Grip also came with... Um, I forget what they call these. Uh, joystick grips, I think. I love these things. I see why people use these on controllers now. And then I also pre-ordered the... Um, what is it? SN30 Pro Plus, I think it's called. Whatever they do, uh, 8 bit do... Super Nintendo controller is called. The one with the grips. I cannot wait to get that. I believe it releases the 7th. So I'll do an unboxing of that. And then uh, go from there. So now without further ado. Let's get into the main attraction. Which is this uh, retro game treasure box. If it's a little beat up. It's because it's been in my car for a few days. But anyway. Uh, so last month we got an 
awesome uh, Japanese imported game. Let me just get my uh, SD in case we get there we go. So if you didn't see last month's, I did get a Japanese version of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, which is pretty cool. Um, and I did order a uh, custom backlit Game Boy Advance, which uh, I got a little add-ons on that as well. Or I did a, I asked for a little bit more of a modification on that. So once I get that in the mail, I'll do an unboxing of that. Uh, probably will get it, I think, within another week or so. I'm not going to wait until uh, August's uh, Retro Game Charger to do that. But um, anyway, so yeah, last two boxes, I've gotten a uh, Final Fantasy game. So let's see if that continues. Hoping we get a, a GameCube game this month and hopefully a PSP game as well. But uh, we shall see. So let's see. Uh, right off the bat, it is a GameCube game, it looks like. So that's cool, and whoop. okay. <laughs> Luckily, that was the Echo Dot box that didn't have the dot in there. But uh, oh, awesome! Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game, cool. I wonder which one this is. I'm actually gonna move the box to the side just to keep uh, the suspense. Looks like we do have a DS game coming up in box, cool. Uh, so this is Yu-Gi-Oh: The uh, False Bound Kingdom. This is a game I actually always wanted as a kid. Uh, never owned it. This obviously will not have the cards, though. That's really awesome. Uh, the only Yu-Gi-Oh! games I really owned as a kid were... Uh, Sacred Cards, Reverse of Arcadia, uh, GX Duel Academy, which I would love to have a copy of again. Didn't own any of the Tag Force games, despite owning a PSP, and that's because I can never find them. And I think that's it for Yu-Gi-Oh! games I owned. But uh, awesome. Cannot wait to play this. What were the uh, promos in this? Uh, Zoa, Metal Zoa, and Goblin Fan. Okay. Uh, three on three field monster battles. That's cool. Egyptian God Monsters make their 3D debut. I think this is one of the better games, too. Only uses three blocks of memory. That's even better. Alright, so that's cool. Oh, wait. Forgot to open it. No manual, which is a okay with me. And disc looks... Oh, jeez, almost dropped it. Not bad. This is, like, better than all my other GameCube games I own in my collection besides the, uh, Turok Evolution I got from my first retro game charger box. Alright, so the DS game. I've never heard of this game. You don't know, Jack. The Irrelevant Trivia Party Game. Fresh new scent. Alright, this is a weird, uh, weird game. But, it is complete, I think. Right? Yeah, it is complete. So, that is cool. I don't know how that's going to be. <laughs> but, um... Alright, do you have a Game Boy Advance game? Oh, cool, Need for Speed. I like Need for Speed. What is this? Oh, is that a Porsche? Oh, yeah, Need for Speed, Porsche Unleashed. Cool, I'm a huge Porsche fan. I love racing games, so, um... Uh, this would be cool. This is cool. I like that. Didn't even know this was, uh... Didn't even know this game existed. So that's awesome. And, uh, this feels like a, uh... What Game Boy Color game is this? Oh, whoa! Uh, okay! Sweet! Uh, Japanese version of Pokemon Silver. That is really awesome. And uh, thank you to those who commented on uh, the previous uh, video on uh, how Game Boy Color cartridges were uh, black and didn't say Game Boy Color on the front. Appreciate for that clarification, guys. Oh, wow, that's really cool. I should be able to play this still, even though it's in Japanese. But um, the gold version I have, the battery's dead on that, so... And I love Gen 2, it's my favorite Gen, so I'm gonna pop this in right away and, uh, let's see if there's a, uh, save file in there or not. Ah, oh, I love that noise. I'm not gonna get copyright for this, am I? 
You never know with Nintendo. I don't need to show the intro, do I? Alright, let's see here. Alright. Oh, this is actually a, a new file. Okay. That's cool. Alright. Neat. I'll do all this later. That's really cool. Oh, the nostalgia. So that is a really awesome addition, and that's uh, two months in a row I get a uh, Japanese version of a game. But still, that is... I like that a lot. And you know what, let's pop this in just to see if there's uh, any save data or not. If it wants to work. There we go. I'm curious. DSi games, huh? It's funny. EA. Okay, no, it looks like um, there is already a save file in here. Yep. Alrighty, so can't wait to play this, actually. I think I'll have fun with that. Finally, not a racing game that's like Mario Kart or F-Zero, although I do a maximum velocity. And then there were a couple DS games I picked up from uh, GameStop, which I left upstairs, unfortunately. Or no, they're in a bag in the basement, but I don't feel like getting them. Uh, there were two, like, Nicktoons games, and then I bought Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age uh, on the Switch for only $35, so... Uh, yeah. So, uh... Four, uh, four games this month. I'm uh, probably going to enjoy three of the four games. <laughs> but I'm really excited to play that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! game. If I had a capture device, I definitely would have done gameplay, maybe in the future. That is something I do want to invest in, though, but I'm going to wait until either I fix... or, or yeah, Until I upgrade my gaming PC, slash fix it, or um, when I get my new gaming laptop, which probably won't be until... Oof. I want to say I wanted to say end of uh, August, but that's may not be the case just because of all the case. No, maybe even with the case splits and other things, I can uh, probably still. Get, I'm I'm hoping by the end of August, early September, but we'll see. But whenever I do get them in the mail, obviously I'll do an unboxing. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry it was a little longer, but just wanted to show you guys the, my Prime Day pickups, and then of course, gotta represent the family. Like I said, definitely check out my uh, cousin Jonathan's book. It's like eight ninety seven, I think, on Amazon, something like that. There's also a Kindle version available for I think two ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, like I said, once I uh, upload the video, uh, I'll probably, um, I'll hopefully remember to put a link to that in the description. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys know me with my editing. Wait, I, I edit my videos? What? <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it. Again, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for uh, Vanguard deck profiles. I'm going to try and record those tonight. That way I can upload them. Um, hopefully one Saturday, one Sunday. And then uh, Manga Hall at some point next week. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll uh, see you next time. Bye for now.